the evolution of QD OLED has finally arrived with the new Gen 4 panel. Is it worth it? Today I give you my review on the Alienware AW2725Q, a 27-inch 4K 240Hz gaming monitor with that G4 QD OLED tech. Today I'll be touching base with the monitor menu. We'll have a brightness test, and my opinions may surprise you. A UFO test. Of course the unboxing, showcasing that indigo blue color scheme that Alienware is touting for 2025. Some amazing videos to showcase the power of 27 inches with that crispy picture. Take a ride with me into the stars. Let's see if Alienware can deliver. Don't forget to hit that like button friends so more people can see this video so they don't waste their hard-earned money. Consider subscribing if you want more reviews and more videos just like this one. From showcasing gameplay to previews and reviews and everything in between, only here on Display Reality. So let's check out the input ports on the Alienware AW2725Q. This does have DisplayPort 1.4. No DisplayPort 2.1 here. It does include two HDMI 2.1 ports. It does support EARC, supporting Dolby Atmos signal pass-through, one upstream and four downstream ports, with a power delivery of up to 15 watts. 27 inches 4K with the highest pixel density ever at 166 PPI, and Dolby Vision support in HDR mode. And just like I said with the monitor nub, it's located in the middle of the monitor on the bottom among other ports. HDR True Black 400 is really a sight to see, especially at 4K 27 inches. But remember, you can use Dolby Vision. It all depends on your content. But right away, looking at this monitor, everything is very crisp. You really need to see it. It looks sharper than a 32 inch monitor. So either get crispiness or go big or go home with that size. Personally, I prefer the size. It's better for immersion in your gaming, but to each their own. This is a welcome addition into that QD OLED monitor lineup. Let's get the technical stuff out of the way. With my display screen luminance test, here the max capability in SDR is around 250 nits. By far one of the lowest QD OLED panels on the market today. I've almost tried them all. You've seen them here on the channel. Usually SDR brightness with these QD OLEDs is around 260 to 70. So yes, in SDR mode, the max capability is 250 nits. And hence that's what you're seeing here with Half-Life. If you're coming from mini LED or bigger screen OLEDs, this brightness will not be sufficient to you. But in HDR mode, things pick up a bit. And that's the recommended mode I have set for this monitor. So if you decide to buy it, HDR mode has a much better picture. In peak 1000 mode, the max capability here is at 1010 nits. And at a 10% window, around 480 nits. If you select True Black 400, you're going to hover around 450 nits, which is sufficient in brightness. So again, I don't know why you would use SDR mode if you can just set it to True Black 400 and the brightness should be sufficient. And since we're speaking of brightness, just to give you an example, the LG 32GS 95UE in SDR mode is much brighter than this monitor. But the reason you're interested in 27 inches 4K is that pixel clarity. OLED is already crisp, but you even get crispier here. Here with the UFO test, it is easily noticeable versus a 32 inch monitor at 4K. Yes, it's sharper, more crispier. It does look clearer. And I test a lot of monitors and that's my honest opinion. Yes, you will be able to see it. Here showcasing some text I know it won't pick it up properly, but since I did the UFO test, I just decided to record a bit. But I didn't have any issues seeing text on this monitor. And with the QD OLED technology, it's a very colorful monitor. That color brightness does elevate the picture over W OLED. I mean, here the colors are popping. And when you see this in person at 27 inches, that pixel density, the pixel clarity is easily seen. Now, my camera is not doing it justice, but look at this indigo color. It's like the indigo prophecy interstellar 2025. Seriously, it's an awesome color. I personally like this new design on Alienware. I know many of you like that lunar white and that old school monitor design to each their own, but it's good to see a change. The color and monitor design, even the stand is amazing. Though it does have minimal LEDs, just like the alien head. Look at this awesome stand. That is awesome. You can place this anywhere and you should have no problems. Here with the unboxing, it's a really thin box. It does highlight that blue color all the information you need. And thankfully, Alienware seems to have updated their packaging. Now, as you can see, while all the cables and the actual monitor base, stand base, were all well protected, the monitor stand and actual monitor also were taken care of. Look at that awesome color. Here you can see it says 27 in that alien language. And of course we have the alien head. Here are all the accessories, even that microfiber cloth. But look at that color shining in the light. Again, this is not doing it justice. When you see it in person, it really does stand out. Thankfully, Alienware now includes a protective film over the entire screen. No more micro scratches like in the previous model. This is how it's supposed to be done. So you shouldn't have any issues with mini or micro scratches. 
Now, while the LED power button is on the right side, that glows. In the middle, we have that joystick nub. Here is where you access the monitor menu. And just like the standard Alienware monitors, here you have all your presets. I usually leave it on standard when I do the review video. But you have so many options, especially creator mode, that I actually love on the 32-inch model. But you have game enhanced mode, the dark stabilizer, console mode, when you connect your console, alien vision, as you can see here with the crosshair. You can set up your brightness, input source, alien effects lighting, display for HDR, your picture in picture, the menu, you can personalize it with your shortcuts. There's the others, with your pixel refresh and more display information. Again, it gets to the point, everything you needed to do. And if you select HDR mode, try between Peak 1000 and True Black 400. And whatever fits your needs for your gaming or entertainment, that's the one you should go with. I would say set it and leave it, unless you want to use creator mode, which has much more control with the DCI-P3 and sRGB color modes. This does have a lot of features. But look at these images. QD OLED technology, Gen 4, 27 inches for that crispiness at 4K. Now we've seen other 4K monitors at 27 inches, but just now add OLED. I mean, I know you know what I'm talking about. That OLED difference, but with QD OLED for the color brightness, does elevate things, at least in HDR mode. I mean, look at these scenes. It looks retina-ish, a very crisp picture, but with that color power behind it, especially in HDR mode. Again, this is an awesome monitor if you need 27 inches at 4K. SDR mode though, does let me down. So I wouldn't recommend it if you need it for SDR mode. If you need that SDR brightness, consider the ASUS version, as it does get a lot brighter, over 400 nits in SDR. 250 to 400 nits is a big difference. That is something that you can easily see. But this monitor has a three year burn-in warranty. The customer service here, the tech support, is by far number one versus all manufacturers. <laughs> Usually a one to two day turnaround, no one does that. But this is an American company with their tech support based in the US. Here with 4K video footage, it looks very clear, very TV-like. So if you want to watch entertainment on it, you'll be good to go. And so far with the MSRP at $899, it's the lower priced 4K 27-inch OLED monitor, especially versus the ASUS. Links will be in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. If you do use that link, it would help me bring technology to you faster than ever. Here with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, look at these graphics. It's so clear. But again, it all depends if you need that size. 32 versus 27. This monitor doesn't do anything new other than that crispiness at 27 inches. So if you have a QD OLED monitor right now, this is exactly the same. Except in my testing, the SDR brightness at 250 is the lowest by far. By far, I mean 20 nits. That is something that it's like a notch in brightness when you select it. It's something you can see. Look at the space travel of this van. You can see all the stars, all the color. It's awesome to know that we have this technology now for us gamers. All your games will look new again. And I'll be testing this much more throughout the year. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see a variety of games at 4K 27 inches with QD OLED technology. Feel free to leave any questions down below. All the specifications of this monitor will be in the description. And again, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to help them make that awesome buying decision. This has been my review of the Alienware AW2725Q, QD OLED Gen 4, finally 4K at 27 inches at 240Hz. The crispiness of this picture is easily seen and will amaze you, and coming in at this amazing MSRP price, be on the lookout for sales if you can wait a bit. I'll also post them in my community post as soon as they break. Friends, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.